So let's say you have a formula in a cell that you'd like to paste uh, elsewhere, either in a column, a row, or anywhere else in a spreadsheet. Uh, normally, or the most obvious way to do this is simply copy and paste the formula wherever you'd like it, like so. And that works. The problem is, let's say you have uh, quite a bit of uh, data. Let's say, in this case, we may have 15 rows of data, but maybe there's uh, 5,000. And so doing a simple copy and paste in every cell is not very re realistic. And so there's actually a built-in function uh, within Excel that lets you do this much quicker. And that's using what's called the fill handle. So if you'll see here in the cell, this little bolded box in the bottom right-hand corner, that's the fill handle. And so you can use that two ways. One is you can simply, once you hover over it, you'll see it, the, the cursor changes to a cross. So once you see that cross, hold down your left click button and drag it down as far as you want and that drags the formula down with it there's actually a quicker way to do this and that's using the same fill handle but this time instead of dragging it down we're just going to double click like that and what that does is it tells Excel that you want it to paste this formula down the column as long as there is data in any adjacent cell and so, for example, you'll notice here it stopped. It didn't paste the formula. And the reason is there was no data in this cell or this cell, so neither adjacent cell. But it did paste it here, and that's because there's data here. So just to show you that it does work, we'll drag the dates on down a little bit further, and we'll repeat the process. And you'll notice it keeps pasting that formula all the way down as long as there's data in an adjacent cell. This can come, uh, can certainly come in handy if you have uh, many rows or columns of data.